Morning, everyone. Uh, I'm Michael Orlando. This is Emilio Di San Luciano. Uh, and for anyone who can figure out how many vowels are in our combined names, you can get one of these fancy Jumio pens at our booth after our presentation or at lunch. Uh, so thanks for coming today. Um, so in 1993, how many of you either got married, graduated from high school, graduated from college, or had your first child? No one? All right, show of hands quickly. Cool. Um, so the other significant event, those are all life, significant life events. The other significant event that was going on in 1993, first of all, IBM was still innovating, and they released the very first smartphone. And over the last 20 years, this device has become an integral part of our daily lives. And what's cool about it these days is it has all these sensors, right? The screen turns on when we touch it, um, the, it plays music for us, uh, it has a camera. And that the camera itself is one of the unique sensors that we use almost every day. And we're so addicted to this phone, when we recently just completed a survey and announced the results of that survey, 10% of us take this device with us while having sex. See? Right there. Right there. So we can't put this phone down. But at the same time, 50% of us are afraid to enter in our personal information. And at Jumio, we're striving to fix that problem and help not only consumers get comfortable using the device for personal information, but also increase conversion during purchases on mobile applications or collecting personal information and verifying that information for account registration, account signup, password verification, tons of different use cases and applications for our, for our solutions. And so we're gonna show you those now. So I'm gonna ask Emilio to take you through one of our customer use cases, one of our customer demonstrations. So he's on the Travelocity mobile application. So if any of you traveled here today and booked your travel, hopefully you did that with Travelocity because they're one of our clients. Uh, so he's finding a room in New York City and needs to book that room in Travelocity's, through Travelocity's application. And so what happens is, uh, what Travelocity was finding is that as people get to this point in the checkout process, having to enter in their card information and, and all that, Tons of drop-off. In fact, almost 90% of people dropped off the mobile application and completing the hotel booking at this point. And so what they did was install our solution in capturing the card information via the camera quickly and easily. We send that data right back to the Travelocity application, and they can submit that for processing. And what used to take the consumer 55 seconds or longer now takes less than five seconds. Easy conversion easy adoption, easy to use, and really created a wow factor in their mobile application. In fact, what happened is they increased conversion by five times. They found that people who use that scanning technology spent three times as many page views uh, than people who use the key, and key entry people only came back 6% of the time, where scanning people came back 94% of the time. So not only do they increase conversion and sales on their app, they also increase cons consumer engagement. Now how else can we use the camera to capture information? So other than card data, personal information is also important to capture, particularly if you want to do account registration, account signup. And so we, Amelia is going to show us again how the card, uh, how the, our application can capture personal information from an ID. So he's got my driver's license, uh, using the camera to capture uh, my information, takes a quick picture, Hopefully, the lighting, yeah. it's a little harder on the stage. So we'll take a quick photo, um, and then what happens is, is the application itself will OCR that data and return it back to the app. The consumer can confirm that data, and the form will be, auto, and an account form can be automatically filled in. So here's my data confirmed, and then the account form is automatically filled in. We're using a template but you could use any of your forms that it, because we re return that data in, in gen generic fields and that data can be sent back in that account field. You can allow the consumer to edit it or just process it as, as is. Beyond that, once you have the data, what's the next most important thing to do? You want to confirm the individuals who they say they are. And that's the key asset that, we, that Jumio technology brings is the ability to take a government issued ID and authenticate that individual's ID as authentic and that the person is who they say they are in the, in the transaction flow, not post-transaction. Uh, 
And so for folks that need to do it real time, banking institutions, credit unions, financial institutions, uh, brokerage firms become critical aid and know their customer and know the customer they're dealing with who they say they are. And so here in, within our mobile application, you can do that. So within the United States, when we can capture IDs in over 85 different countries today, whether it be a passport, driver's license, or government issued ID. So Amelia is gonna use his driver's license, capture an image of that driver's license, Done. Then, the other critical thing we're going to do is capture an image of Emilio's face. Smile for the camera. Right. So, once those images are captured, they're uploaded, and our technology takes over. And our technology is doing three things right now. So first of all, it's doing material analysis to ensure that the material of that document is authentic. It's doing a creating a dimensional view of that document, to so looking for holograms, embossed lettering, pictures are in the right place, et cetera. Uh, and it's uh, doing a reverse pixelization to look for corruption and manipulation of that data. And in doing so, we can tell if it's authentic. At the same time, we're taking the photo that's on the image and the photo that was just created and comparing those two through facial recognition technology and matching technology to ensure that those two images are identical. And we're returning a confirmation back to the user and to our client. Whether you do that online or offline, it, it doesn't matter. You, can, uh, you get that confirmation that the individual is authentic. So in, what we do is three things. One, we make payments more convenient and faster. We create an opportunity for uh, account authentication to happen quicker and faster, and we verify that your customers are who they say they are. And the answer is 16. Have a great day.